to say Batman Arkham Origins is the most underrated Batman Arkham game would be an understatement. Sure, the game wasn't exactly hated, but for all fans of the Arkham series, all this game really was, was a filler game that was used to hold us over as we waited for the ultimate Batman game, which would end off the series which was released 6 years ago now, Batman Arkham Knight. Since the release of Origins and Knight, we've had the Return to Arkham release, which of course was the remaster of the first two games in the series, but for some reason, Origins didn't get the same treatment even when the Batman Arkham Collection, which includes Knight as well, was released, which isn't the greatest as there isn't too many feasible ways to play the game on modern gen consoles except through Xbox's backwards compatibility. Anyway, in this video I want to go over why Origins isn't as bad as everyone says and how the game is actually still a comprehensive and incredible Batman video game experience. From what I've seen all over the internet in terms of reviews for the game and why it isn't remotely as liked as the other entries in the series is because the game for many didn't feel like a step up from the other entries before it. Of course, Batman Arkham Asylum was absolutely groundbreaking when it released, forging an entirely new genre in gaming and making superhero video games more relevant than it was before. Arkham City, which is considered the best in the series by many, was also fantastic as it really did feel like a gigantic leap forward for the series as it refined all mechanics scene in the first game or adding so many other features and mechanics that truly made the game absolutely incredible and hailed as the best Arkham game and arguably one of the best superhero video games ever made. So when Origins came out it to many didn't feel like a leap forward for the series as a whole but instead to many the game felt as a semi copy and paste of Arkham City just with a new map extension and a new narrative without really having any other mechanics that made it different to the rest of the series. This entirely might be the case instead of a few new additions to the gadgets that are able to be utilized as well as some other small changes from the last two games. Firstly, the story isn't a bad one at all in my opinion. Rather, it's an actually a fantastically crafted and well-written story, which to me was an awesome one to see played out, as it was really interesting to see the origin story of the Batman iteration that we have known to love over the entirety of the Batman Arkham series. The story used many of the familiar faces that we all know as Batman's fantastic rogues gallery, but the utilization of all of these villains was awesome, and a lot of characters that aren't used as much or at all in other installments in the series, such as Copper, Head, Black Mask and Deathstroke which all help to make the game story a lot better. The game, although it serves as an origin story of Batman, it for me also felt like the origin story of the Joker as well, which I extremely enjoyed to see as. The Joker that is featured in the Arkham series is an absolutely incredible iteration of the Joker and it was really cool to see his origin story play out as well as at the same time of Batman's one. It did well in building that crazy relationship that Joker has with Batman, whereas we know he is insanely obsessed with Batman and this game really tries his best to highlight why the Joker feels as he does. Utilizing the Joker again in this story to me was quite a good idea and the other villains also do a good job at covering up the gaps of the story, with Bane being in the spotlight for a majority of the game, which was awesome to see despite how many times we see him in the Arkham games, I just can't get enough of him. And this Bane is a very early iteration of the one that we see in Asylum, and one that doesn't entirely rely on his venom to feed him his power. The relationship between Batman and Alfred is also quite a good one in the game as well, as Batman learns to appreciate him more throughout the game. It was generally just awesome to see an iteration of Batman that is much younger than the one we see in the other Arkham games where he's fully experienced and understands many of the weaknesses and flaws of his foes. And this game instead flips the coin and reveals a different side to Batman, one that instead of being composed, calm and always intelligent, we see a Batman who is sometimes irrational, brash and not always thinking straight when trying to approach his objectives and not thinking everything through before he does it. Also the Christmas theme of the game was also really awesome and that really relationship that is slowly forged between Batman and Gordon as they learn they have to work with each other for the safety of Gotham was an incredible relationship to see be forged as we see how they perfectly work with one another in most of the other entries in the series. Overall this game might not have the exact same high levels of storytelling that Arkham City is known for but it was still able to create a compelling and well written narrative that was quite a unique one that helped us see the origin story of the franchise's two main characters and one that in my opinion was quite well executed. Now let's talk about Arkham Origins gameplay. The gameplay didn't really do much to really revolutionize the Arkham formula, which to many was extremely disappointing, especially when you look at the leap in the gameplay department that occurred between Asylum and City, and Origins smaller additions to the combat weren't at all groundbreaking in the sense that City's was, and instead was just that same Arkham gameplay which is fine as the combat in the Arkham series is satisfying and incredible to play, but people really wanted to see more innovation in this game opposed to just a copy and paste job. However, Origins did introduce a few new mechanics and gadgets that 
that helped to spice up things in the combat a little more. The ice grenade was an awesome addition to the game and it helped change up the situation when fighting enemies with firearms. The shot gloves taken straight from the electrocutioner was really fun to play with as when fighting a lot of enemies at the same time the gloves are really good at calming down the situation but also being a gadget that has the potential for so many great combos and other fun things as well. Origins also had a different feeling to its combat which wasn't necessarily it feeling more clunky but this different feeling that the game had was still good and it mainly sustained many of the characteristics of the combat within this series as well as mixing it up here and there making it still a liable contender in this series in terms of its Batman combat. But for me personally what sets this game apart from the other games in the series purely based on the department of its gameplay alone is for me the game's awesome and incredibly well designed boss fights that occur with the various different villains within the game. I really did enjoy my time with most of the combat within the game and found it to be some of the most enjoyable parts of the gameplay and it really did help make the gameplay of this game a lot better than it was and it for me easily had the best boss fights that the series has to offer and the variety and diversity within the boss fights themselves is also quite unique and wasn't seen as much in the other entries in the series such as Asylum and City. First, the Deathstroke fight was awesome, a simple head-to-head -head combat with some of the world's greatest martial artists and I really liked the diversity within the fight as well. The various Bane fights in my opinion were also quite well designed and I extremely enjoyed them as well and I really like how the game made you fight Bane head-to-head -head and then made him super big using his Venom, making the fight instead stealth oriented which isn't seen much throughout the series in its boss fights except maybe the fight with the Arkham Knight. The Copperhead fight was also quite fun to play and I also enjoyed the diversity of that fight and in general I feel that there was a lot of work put into making these boss fights as good as they can be and that's quite evident as each boss battle is easily distinct from one another instead of just being a stereotypical fight that already seen in the Arkham series and the diversity of the boss fights within the game is easily one of the game's best features in general and it really helped elevate the combat. The traversal in this game sadly was not even close to that of City and instead felt bland and the world in general was just didn't feel as good to traverse than that of City's awesome open world and this was really disappointing as, as there wasn't any huge additions in changing how you traverse the city itself and I would have really liked to see better mechanics implemented to traverse the gigantic city that would make getting from point A to B less tedious but it isn't too much of an issue and I can overlook it but it's definitely a problem that holds the game back in its gameplay. Overall Origins in my opinion had one of the best stories in the series, easily the best boss fights in the series and the gameplay felt satisfying but the traversal and gameplay mechanics weren't as fun or well made than that of cities and that was really disappointing to see. However the game's atmosphere, references to other Batman characters and music were all phenomenal and the whole feeling of the game still felt like an incredibly well made and comprehensive Batman experience. If you enjoyed this video consider subscribing to the channel for more content like this and I would really appreciate it. Anyway that's all from me for today, peace.